What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Riddly Juice Recipes. Welcome back to DIY Made Easy. These videos are geared towards mixers who are just starting out making their own e-liquid. So whether you are a veteran of the mixing community or someone who's a little bit newer, I hope that you find some enjoyment in these videos. There's a list of 26 flavors down in the description of this video that I use to make all of the recipes in this season. And, uh, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm a big, big fan of RY4s. TFA RY4 Double is my favorite flavor out of all of the flavors that I own. I love that flavor. I mix it by itself at 7% uh, with 1% of Flavor West Sweetener. And I vape it all the time. It's a really, really, really good kind of like, kind of like cured tobacco with some really good like dark caramely notes. I just, I just love that flavor. So something that I really, really struggled with for a very, very, very long time was creating my own RY4. I really wanted to make an RY4 that that just excelled at, at being an RY4, and I could never really get very close to TFA RY4 double until my friend Mikey, Mix Master Mike, turned me on to this flavor, and I never tried it before because it has a weird name, and when I'm looking for flavors to buy, watching reviews of flavors, reading people's flavor notes, I'll type in something like tobacco because I'm looking for a tobacco flavor. I'm not looking for Flavor Art Soho, right? These flavors that have, you know, unusual names, they're really hard to find. And this flavor is a gem. Mikey told me, you know, have you ever tried this before? You know, and no, never tried that before. Never even heard of it before, really. And uh, there, there's plenty of flavors out there that have very unusual names or names that don't do a really accurate job of describing what they are. But uh, F.A. Soho is just this mild tobacco and uh, it's kind of dirty and it's got like some, it's almost like cookie kind of notes, like a, like a darker kind of brown sugar note. It's, I don't know, it's really, really spectacular. And uh, yeah, it is an excellent building block for creating your own RY4. Like I own tons of different tobacco flavors and it seems like, you know, every time I would try one and try to make it into an RY4, it would turn out like tasting wet, which I didn't really want. You know, I wanted that, I wanted that dry, roasty, smoky taste, you know, that, that I would expect from a tobacco with some caramel notes, a little bit of cream, maybe some vanilla, you know, and, and I kind of never get that from, from the 20 plus tobacco notes tobacco flavors that I own. And F.A. Soho is spectacular. It's really, really, really close to being an RY4 on its own, but it's missing a couple of key components. So I think that it is an excellent building block for making an RY4. No matter what that RY4 profile you want to create is, you know, I think that F.A. Soho is a really, really good place to start for just that kind of dirty tobacco taste that you expect from an RY4. And it has some, like I said, some pretty good bakery notes that you can kind of build off of. So, yeah, uh, this recipe is easy RY4. And that's exactly what it is. There's only three ingredients in it. And the first one is 5% of F.A. Soho. I think I've already described this flavor enough. So let's move on to the next one. We are going to add to that 3% of Flavor West salted caramel. So um, caramel is something that's extremely important for an RY4. The caramel... Uh, kind of blends with the tobacco and it gives you that really good mouthfeel. It brings some sweetness and, the, and those dark kind of bubbly caramel notes. So Flavor West uh, uh, salted caramel is, um, it's not exactly a gooey caramel. I would describe it as kind of like a sticky caramel, but it's very, very, very good. And it's very accurate for those kind of dark sugary, cooked sugar notes that you expect from a caramel. And um, it pairs up really, really well with Soho. And uh, it really kind of amplifies, kind of blends with those bakery notes that I get from the Soho. And it makes a really, really nice caramely finish for the RY4. And the last ingredient that we're going to put in here is 2% of Wonder Flavors Vanilla Rouillon Custard. So Vanilla Rouillon Custard is uh, it, the vanilla note that's in it is is fairly light. I don't actually get a ton of vanilla for, from this. I get a nice cured tobacco on the finish. It's a very, very like light hint of tobacco on it, but it, it has some really nice creamy notes and it's a little bit eggy. It's, it's a very, very good custard and, and it is a perfect 
thing to use in an RY4 to add that kind of like creamy mouthfeel that you need from it. So yeah, that's it. That's, that is all that's in this easy RY4 recipe. And I got to say, it is, it is banging. It is very, very similar to TFA RY4 double, but the tobacco note that you get from it is a little bit more pronounced. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit dirtier. It's a little bit more cured. It is kind of exactly what I was looking for in that RY4 that I always wanted to create. This juice is spectacular, and I hate to say it, but it might just replace my staple TFA RY4 double. Just kidding. I don't think that that flavor is replaceable, although I do think that this mix is a little bit better than that, you know? But there's something about being able to just take one flavor and, and mix it at a percentage that you find desirable, add a little bit of sweetener, and go. like. TFA RY4 double, it's never going to let me down. This recipe is very good, like I said, it's comparable. I did put, excuse me, I did put 1% of flavorless sweetener in here. And one of my favorite things about FA Soho is that it really doesn't require a whole lot of steep time. Another thing that I really have always appreciated about TFA RY4 double is you get really good flavor after about four days. And Soho is very, very similar. I think that if you let this juice sit around for about a week, you're good to go. The juice is, is really good after about a week. It has a nice mouthfeel. The tobacco is pronounced. And it doesn't have any of those kind of like cardboardy notes. I don't know what to, how to describe them. They, they taste like wet cardboard to me, tobacco at first. But you know, that steeps out. It doesn't really have any of that going on. I have let this uh, Flavor Art Soho sit around for uh, four weeks and I really didn't notice much change between one and four weeks. So I think that it's fully steeped after, after about a week. Of course, I put one milligram of my friend Nick in here because that's what helps me stay off of cigarettes. I smoked traditional combustible tobacco cigarettes for 15 years and I quit smoking overnight with flavored vapor products, which are scientifically proven to be 95% safer for you than cigarettes. Don't listen to anything that anybody tells you. Listen to me, focus right here, right now. I'm telling you, vapor products, 95% safer for you than tobacco cigarettes. There's no combustion. There's no chemicals. A cigarette is designed, it is a machine that is designed to make you want to smoke the whole thing and smoke more. Typical cigarette has 50 milligrams of nicotine in it. I use one milligram of nicotine. I've used one milligram of nicotine for about a year, and it is plenty for me. I do not need 50 milligrams of nicotine. That's insanity. Of course, everybody's different. Maybe you don't want to use nicotine at all. That's totally fine. Maybe you want to use flavor vapor products to curb your appetite. That is something that I have heard a, a lot of people do. You know, they have bad snacking habits. They want to have healthier habits. They can get their flavor craving for candy or sweets or whatever it is from a flavored vapor product. They don't even use nicotine. They just use it to curb their appetite. Do it. If you want to use 50 milligrams of nicotine, do it. This is a free country and you can do that. Anyway, I think that's about it for this easy RY4 recipe. Listen, if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn notifications on so that I get to annoy you every time I upload a video. Like, comment, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.